Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat, and I'm his human servant, Eric. And I'm Morgan, and this is my puppy, Ziggy. Hi guys, good evening. Before I get into this video in depth, I just want to address a few things officially. So, in case you didn't get the hints from the very end of my last previous video three days ago, um, also in case you did not follow me through the months of the summer, um, August and September, um, I want to let everybody know that um, I have met someone special, um, and she and her dog are going to continue to join Jackson and I on the road. Um, she's someone very special that I care about, and I'm going to introduce her to all of you uh, before I talk about where we're at today. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat, and I'm his human servant, Eric. And I'm Morgan, and this is my puppy, Ziggy. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to try to answer some of your questions here. I was born and raised in southern Ontario. I traveled a fair amount growing up, mainly for ski trips and Caribbean vacations. This will be my third U.S. road trip. Awesome. Uh, a lot of viewers loved your Jeep. You want to talk about your Jeep? I've had it for three years. It's a 1995 Jeep YJ with a six-cylinder 4.0 liter engine on a manual transmission. I've had my 13-foot 1984 Bowler since February. Uh, now it's more of a restoration project in the living space uh, and extra storage. I'm planning to keep working on it to sell in the future or possibly outfit it as my craft room. Ziggy is a one and a half year old boxer Boston Terrier cross. Uh, his full name is Ziggy Stardust and he and Jax actually get along remarkably well. Surprising. <laughs> so how did the two of us meet on the road? Well, um, we messaged each other on Facebook Messenger and realized that we were both kind of going the same route east at about the same time and so we chatted it up and decided to have coffee in North Dakota. I was on my way home from a west coast road trip with my sister and was heading back to Ontario for my job at a Halloween store. So we met up in late July, things went well, and we decided to start traveling together for a few days. So very quickly we began to start sharing everything together. Uh, meals, traveling, our campsites, um, our boondocking day to day, um, our planning we did together. We got to know each other really fast, uh, really well, because we were ending up spending so much time together day to day. So we ended up traveling together east for about four weeks into Indiana, basically one day before she was due to start work in Canada. This year was my third season working with the same team at the Halloween store. I was looking forward to seeing my friends again, but at the same time, sad that my time with Eric was ending. And I felt the same way. That's why we made plans to meet up after Halloween when she was done working. Long distance adds a new dimension to a relationship and also a lot of difficulties. We tried to combat the separation with lots of calls and text and daily video chats. And coffee over Skype. Mm -hmm. Some days were harder than others, especially as Halloween got closer and my work days got busier and longer. So how is this new change here in the RV going to affect the Nomadic Fanatic channel? Well, first of all, it's going to remain fairly the same perspective of my view, but there's going to be extra perspectives, extra things that we collaborate on, meals and other projects along the way. But as far as the format for exploring new experiences, that will mostly stay the same, just like it was uh, when I was filming uh, when we were meeting up earlier in the summer. Or if Morgan finds that she has enough to share of her own perspective and crafts while traveling, she may venture into YouTube herself. For now, I just have Instagram link below. Okay. So where are we going from here? Canada. <laughs> no, south, uh, Orlando, Florida. Those are some of our immediate plans, but we are still making this up as we go. After Florida, as we travel west, potentially, we will be staying probably as south as possible on our route to Texas. We might be going to Traveler's Camp Fest to meet up with uh, other RVers down there. Not set in stone, and for right now I think that's about as far as we want to venture into the unknown. Welcome to YouTube, Morgan. Thanks. <laughs> hey everybody, so I just want to show you where we're kind of at here. This is where we spent last night. Uh, here, this is Dismal Swamp Canal. Trees are really nice. They've got garbage cans, no real facilities. I don't really know what you would call this place officially, but I know there's like a um, state forest part of it where you can pay and stuff like that. 
but here's the swamp down here. So, it's really nice. Got to spend some time looking at the water out the window. Think you going for a walk? All right, guys. So like this sign right here says overnight parking for Lake Drum and campground visitors, and that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to be a visitor. So it's unclear how you become a visitor of this place, but um, I will go ahead and put the GPS coordinates of Dismal Swamp Canal for you guys because we successfully camped here overnight, um, although it was right off the highway. And we're going to get on the road now and go south into a new state today. So right now I'm already in southeast Virginia. and. North Carolina is going to be next. Starting to get a little cooler temperature wise, but we have Florida in sights, so I'm not too concerned about it. Come outside, Ducks. Get some exercise there, buddy. Pretty windy, huh? Pretty stinking windy, huh? Meow. I know. Okay, buddy. Well, we've arrived in North Carolina, as you can see by the North Carolina flag up here. And this is the visitor center. Thought go inside, see if we can grab a state map at least and see how they welcome us. It does look like they might have water right here. Let's just test it out real quick. There we go, water, threaded, cool. So I could pull my RV up right here and use my little 50 foot hose and top off. And I might do that. Morgan is actually winterized uh, her camper, so we're not going to be putting water in her 10 gallon. We don't really need it. Um, we might be doing is putting the two blue containers of water either into the Jeep or her trailer for extra storage. Um, that way, yeah, it'll work. So, making this little stop here was pretty cool. Got a North Carolina map. Uh, they also gave us some information on the Croatan National Forest. I thought it was Croshan or something, and just letting you know, in case I'm wrong, the visitor center told me it's Croatan National Forest. So I think we're going to head down there in North Carolina for a destination. Also, already took care of my magnets. The place we were at last night was Dismal Swamp, and so I got a cool little magnet here that says, Send more tourists. Any blood type will do. Perfect. There were mosquitoes and stuff there. And then just a North Carolina one that matches some of my other ones that are like that. So... Yeah, oh, what a nice sunny day. It is a little chilly. Don't really mind too much, but welcome to North Carolina. And we're gonna get back on the road and go check out North Carolina. Hanging out here in New Bern, North Carolina for the day. A little event going on here today. And we're looking for the home, the, the birthplace of Pepsi. And I think it's gonna be right across the street over here. Uh, the name of the, what's the name of the event, Morgan? The Mum Festival. Mum Festival. As you can see, they've got the whole street locked off in both ways for kind of just outdoor crafts and stuff. But yeah, see this building right here? The birthplace of Pepsi Cola. Can I just get a large Pepsi and a large popcorn? Up there it says Caleb Davis Bradham inventor Pepsi Cola 1867 to 1934. And they have a guest book which I am going to sign. Welcome. Okay. Are you a Coke or Pepsi girl? It's okay to be honest. Um, Coke. Well, it's only around That's good. I am working doing some research here on Wikipedia. It says that it was originally created and developed in 1893 and introduced as Brad's Drink. And it was renamed Pepsi Cola in 1898. And then as Pepsi in 1960. A little bit of history. And we'll go outside and I'll show you the sign too. Okay, here's that other sign I just wanted to point out real quick. It talks about uh, Caleb Bradham. Brad's Drink, which he created in pharmacy here, was marketed as Pepsi Cola after 1898. So this is the actual pharmacy back in the day. 
And then here's one more little plaque here on the side here. Talks about uh, Red Ham's Pharmacy. but I really need to get caught up on magnets. I never showed anybody my Virginia Beach magnet right there. I kind of talked about these two that I got at the rest stop, the North Carolina with Cardinal and the Dismal Swamp one. So three new magnets to add to the collection and let's put a new sticker for North Carolina now. I mean, th this map is really filling up. Holy cow. So before it gets dark, here it is uh, basically day three here. And uh, we found a free campsite from freecampsites.net. I'll put the GPS coordinates below for you. A little open field right here. Uh, we dropped the trailer and went into town to grab some stuff, but pretty much here alone. And they're calling it Dixon Field Landing for canoes, kayaks. There's a bathroom, garbage can, nothing really else, but it's really nice. And I will show you how close we can get to the water here uh, down this little trail right here. We're going to be heading out in the morning towards South Carolina, so I'm not going to bother putting the solar panels up and getting any charge. As you can see, there might be a couple little spots in here to camp, pull in an RV or right here. Could work, but the reason why I didn't is because there's no turnaround here at the bottom by the water. So a trailer or an RV it would just be really tough. And like I said, since we rolled in so late, there's really no reason to try to get solar but here's the Swamp River, not moving very fast. That's really nice. Oh, I see some, some clouds over there that uh, want to start raining and drizzling overnight. There is some chance of rain. Anyway, really nice, neat spot. And uh, I'm feeling really good, guys. Life is working great, so that's great. I will be able to share more on the road and be happier. And... Uh, it's really fun traveling with someone I care about so much. So everything worked out for the best. And um, please stay tuned. Lots more to come as we travel south. Ooh, real quick, let me also mention something else. Uh, I mentioned um, possibly convoying with a few other people down to Texas. For those of you that did not follow me last year, I attended an event in January. Actually, it was this year, early this year in January, called Traveler's Camp Fest the first annual down on Padre Island National Seashore hosted by Kevin and his dog Nugget and we had a bunch of people come from all over the country to meet up in that spot for a week down there and camp on the beach bonfires and just really good people traveling people so although I'm not affiliated with it um, he's just a friend of mine that runs it um, yeah he kind of invites all kinds of good people and well-behaved pets. So I will also put a link to his Facebook um, event page if you guys would like to check that out, send him a message, ask some questions about the dates and everything, and uh, how you can maybe help out if you have a pickup truck for some wood or um, any other resources in the area. But Josh and Luke have kind of gone a different route, kind of cut across because they know that uh, Morgan and I have decided to go to Orlando first and then st pretty much probably stay as south as possible towards Texas for the warmth and then we will be getting into Corpus Christi hopefully in January on time but we're making this up as we go so anyways all right guys have a good night and we will all see you in a couple days. Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.